Hello. Yes, uh, this video is a little dark, and that's okay. It sort of works into the topic. Um, today, uh, 50 years ago, C.S. Lewis, um, one of my favorite writers, passed away. And it was also this day that Aldous Huxley died and John F. Kennedy later on. Um, but I'm thinking about Lewis. Later on this weekend, the world will be celebrating the 50th anniversary of the program Doctor Who, which I'm a fan of. Um, so that's like the same weekend, the same year, 1963. All of this happened, um, literally within days of each other. So uh, this morning um, on the radio, Alistair Begg on uh, Truth for Life was talking about topics of death and he meant made this comment which i thought was very interesting he says there's no untimely deaths god knows when you're supposed to go and whenever you're supposed to go that's when you go and that's probably about right um so that's kind of been on my mind and he and a couple of the other preachers have been talking about the book of job and then one of them was even talking about the glories of heaven which is awesome so I remember reading, and I couldn't find the passage this morning, but I remember reading that at Lewis's uh, funeral, um, they'd had a candle sitting on the casket, and it did not flicker, despite the fact that the wind was moving. Or was it the other way around, that the air was still and the candle did flicker? Whatever it was, it did something unusual. Um, that when I read it at the time, I was like, it was almost like saying, yep, he's in heaven. So that's kind of cool. Actually, um, and I'll put this in my travel videos eventually. Um, i got to put them together. I think I finally solved the issue of the part two dialogue of where you're not allowed to film. But well, I'll, I'll worry about that later because I only have limited time today. Um, right now, um, I've got to get finish getting dressed and, and go down and help mom clean out the cabinets. I'm losing track of my mind. Oh, yes. When I was in England, um, one of the things that uh, I put on my itinerary was visiting Oxford. And I specifically wanted to go to Magdalen College. Uh, I got a chance to wander around in the backgrounds, and that was awesome. And I got to eat at the Eagle and Child, which is wonderful. And by the way, the Eagle and Child gets its name from the Darby family crest. Believe it or not, the Earl of Darby. Um, probably not related, I don't know. But, uh, anyway. Where am I at? Yes, but then I, I was in the hotel going through a list of, like, Inklings-related sites and was shocked to find out that the very hotel I was staying at was where, um, Lewis met Joy Davidman and eventually married her. Um, so that was kind of cool. It was the Eastgate Hotel. Currently, it's managed by Merck here, but, um... You know, it's it's a pretty good hotel, by the way. It's it's up to date. Um, so if you want to go to Oxford and you want a nice place to stay, which is not easy, believe me, it's not easy to find lodging there. Um, they charge about hundred pounds a night ish, depending on what rooms you ask for. It's up to date. It's there's there there's not not a whole lot wrong with it, and it's and it's an inkling site. So anyway. Um, so anyway, this is just my acknowledgement on the 50th anniversary of the death of my favorite writer. In the old traditions, um, there's this thought of the, the day of a man's death is more important than the day of his, his birth, and they talk about a feast day, which is the death day. Um... Some of you out there who are J.K. Rowling fans will know all about death days. But in the old church tradition, it's the, the saint's feast day. And a saint is anybody who's a Christian. Not anybody who's, not necessarily whether they've been canonized, quote-unquote, or not. So, so this is the 50th feast day of C.S. Lewis. And several other luminaries and... Um, on to the future, as the doctor would say, I shall come back. I shall come back. So just go forward in all your beliefs and 
Let me prove to you that I'm not mistaken in mine. Here's this button. 